you think perhaps that working people need new political organizations, new parties? <clears throat> is there a need for a workers' party, something along those lines, one that is, has a mm. spine and isn't, isn't yeah. bought off by the bankers? Right. And what do you think about the political project of Eugene right. Debs? I think, I think uh, that um, I wish we had a, a political system and a structure set up uh, constitutionally that allowed for three, four, five you know, political parties. Uh, because two parties cannot represent the broad spectrum of political belief amongst 300 million people. That's insane. So, um, but we don't have that system. And having had some experience, uh, you know, with a third party, um, I've come to the conclusion that it would be a lot easier for us to take over uh, the Democratic Party uh, because it all, <laughs> you know, it already exists. Um, they. If you were to go, seriously, and I travel the country a lot now, if, the, the, if you went to the monthly county meeting of the um, you know, Montgomery County Democratic Party, if you went to next month's meeting, you'd be shocked at how few people are there, seriously. If you brought 15 or 20 of your friends, you would become the Montgomery County Democratic Party, seriously. You know, and, it, and there's a bylaws, and they have to follow these rules. And uh, you know, my wife and I, we moved up to northern Michigan in a rural county. And after the 04 election, there were, there were a total of four paid members of the Democratic Party. And we thought, wow, this is crazy. Today, there's over 300, because we, we and our friends essentially became uh, the party. And we run on, only progressive candidates that have our uh, political beliefs and leanings. And, um, and we've had some success with that. Uh, so uh, this is really the slacker approach to uh, a revolution uh, <laughs> via political party. Because the Democrats, first of all, they've already, this thing already exists. They have a building. They've got a name picked out. You know how long it takes to you know, come up with a name. They got the logo. You know how long that takes if you've ever been in a, in a in a meeting at the Unitarian Church or whatever. There's, you know, the, the, the logo takes forever. And uh, they've already got the stationery printed. So, so instead of having to reinvent this, and we don't really have the, the resources or the money to be able to do that, if we just, and I'm going to start encouraging this, just go into your local town, your, town, your county meeting in Kansas, in Idaho, in Utah, in Wisconsin, in Minnesota, and everywhere else, if we just if we did this, I got a feeling that we could really raise a ruckus because it's an, it's one thing to threaten the blue dog Democrats with how they've messed everything up uh, recently, but it's a hollow threat if we aren't involved in a very subversive way in their district uh, to undo them. And that's per, that's I'm telling you, these Democrats uh, who have derailed uh, health care. Um, uh, I am committed <laughs> to having every one of them removed uh, next year. Ooh. Every single one of them. Amen. Every single one of them. And, and I don't think I'm the only one. So I, I, you know, I've got over a million people just on my internet list on my website. And, uh, and from there, a lot of things uh, can, can blossom.